Oh, you're playing footy oh, oh, this oh, weekend. Oh, again, you're strapping on the boots today. I thought never oh, again. Well, never again became very shortly. Friday night footy <laughs> for the Wattle Park Animals. Wattle Park Animals in Division 12 Reserves Football. Good year. I will be playing in the Div 12 Resins. If you're new to the channel, or you're loving the Div 12 Resis vlogs on YouTube, make sure you subscribe to the channel down below so you don't miss any episodes. Welcome back to the Div 12 Resis Wattle Park season vlogs. We have acquired Daisy Thomas to play for us this week against the Oakley Crushers. Now, how did we get Dale Thomas? A little while ago, we got flogged by 133 points. And then a couple of weeks after that, we got rolled by 90. Daisy Thomas saw some of these results on Instagram. He said, if you ever need a chop out, let me know and I'll come down and have a run with you, lads. I've seen them uh, marmalade they go by on, yes. on Instagram. Very and famous. They had a, uh, a pretty heavy defeat a few weeks ago. So I said, hey, if you get a Friday night fixture, let me know, I'll come and help you out. Oakley hit us up and say that they would like to move our clash with them to a Friday night. So we saw this as an opportunity to chance our arm with Daisy. And about halfway through last week, Daisy said he was in. So game day started very differently for McDonald. I woke up and was on the Today Show. So the Today Show hit me up during the week and asked if we could chat about your social media. I thought it was going to be about trick shots, but they were asking about my footy skits on Instagram recently. So um, I woke up early on Friday to go down to a local footy, footy ground and chat to Carl Stefanovic and Sarah about my Instagram and social media. What are you doing? I don't know, <laughs> to be honest. Yeah, on the Today Show talking talking trick shots, I think. You know more than anyone that it takes half an hour to get these trick shots done. So, um, yeah, fingers crossed I can nail it first go on national live television. Fresh haircut for TV as well. Yeah, and it's one where it's like in a week it'd be good, but I'm looking a bit peaky blindery at the moment. Welcome back. Well, no AFL player is safe while Caden McDonald is around the social media star going viral for his hilarious impersonations of the game's most famous players. Take a look. How many AFL players play footy? Dustin Martin. Yeah! <laughs> He's spot on. The legend himself, Kados, joins us now. How are you, brother? Go well, Carl. Thanks, Sarah. Um, thanks for having me on. Um, nice and warm and early. Look at your beautiful <laughs> hair this morning. You're like a peacock. <laughs> you in the are. Wild. It's just um, flowing. Look, your mates with Harley Reid. I wanted to get straight to it. Harley Reid. Um, is he as handsome in person uh, as in real life? <laughs> Carl's got a massive man crush. Yeah. Oh, very close mates with Harley Reid. Didn't um, swindle him down for one video, but uh, he is. <laughs> He is a strapping young lad. He's a big boy. He's 18, 19 years old. His hands were huge. His legs were huge. I was a bit intimidated. Um, had a bit of a goal kicking challenge with him, and um, he got the chocolates, unfortunately. Yeah. Oh, you got, on got the debut. Those that, that... footies are still there. You don't want a trick shot of now? This is what I would have done. This is what you would have seen on today's show if, if Trump didn't do some naughties. Oh, this is what would have happened. First shot. Myself, Ethan Baker and Cooko went to the game together. The traffic was horrible on the Friday night, but we were super excited to get down to Scammell Reserve and get amongst the atmosphere of Dale Thomas playing for the Div 12 Resins. I'm in the car and we are going to play some foosball. Baker's steering the ship. And then Cookanarchus <laughs> is behind us in deep, deep, deep in the dark depths. Not allowed to put my head through the sunroof. <laughs> Been banned. Um, it seems to be precipitating just a tiny bit. I like that, I like it when it's soft underfoot because I've got a good turn of foot. <laughs> I've got a bit of drop foot. Um, Bags, how do you go in the slippery conditions? No, I play well in all conditions, mate. <laughs> oh, just, just run out there. He's coming off a 10 day hammy. Yeah. I don't know if hammy's... It's a quick return, but <laughs> hopefully we get through tonight. We need to rush him back, given the injury crisis down at Wattle Park. These boys were both telling porkies, by the way. They started shooting themselves as soon as they saw that rain coming down. <laughs> 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 <Right. laughs> I'm actually pumped for a little bit of press. Oh, yeah. Keep the camera. Check the radar. <laughs> Check the radar. I have fun. Fuck, this is a good deck. Yeah? What about my deck? Can't believe we're just about to meet Daisy. We're about to see Daisy. Give us a stats prediction right now for yourself. I'm kicking five. Under lights, Friday night, bit greasy. Dale Thomas, that, that screams five for the McDonald machine. <laughs> What's your punishment tonight if you don't kick five? <laughs> Ten beers. Ten beers? Oh, no, what brutal. Stat count? How many stats am I going to have? Yeah. Uh, I might go to get the goals tonight. How many, 
<laughs> seven. Seven and five, that's a winning score. That is a bit of a chalky day. <laughs> I left my boots in the car, so really not good. Where was the car? Uh, all the way over there. All the way over there. But, hey, what is Schmidt Ground we're playing at? Schmidt Ground, Schmidt Night. That's awesome. <laughs> Limba, looking These limber. Are not feeling good. You're looking good. You ready? Though. If I say it, you probably won't believe it, but I'm a little bit nervous. <laughs> There's some expectation, and I have put a little bit of the pressure on myself. I was going to say, you set the expectation. <laughs> Kick 40, and then get to half time and reassess. Um, no, look, I'm here to have fun. The boys look like they're in good spirits, and the deck looks nice. We've got a nice night for footy, and you know, 40 and 10 sounds all right, I think. Yeah. I know you played. A game in between, but we came up to watch you at nil. Yeah, and that was one of the great local yeah. footy club days I've ever been at. Um, can we replicate something here and get us over the line? Yeah, well, I, I did that one, and then I went and played a game for Parade, uh, kicked six for them in Div Two or whatever that was. So. Uh, and we've got them across the line, so fingers crossed, mate. I, I've been a bit of a lucky charm. And when you and I combined, like, yeah, that was you were there that day. I was there. Um, good things happen. And what, what's your mix? What's your mid forward mix? Uh, it's probably dictated by uh, my asthma. Um, I'm not sure I have it, but I think I'll contract it at some stage. So whenever that kicks in, yeah. Um, That'll probably be time. I'm not, I think Shrey's the one who's just told me, because I was going to go 70, 30, yeah. forward, mid, and he said, no, 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 it'd be 50, 50 at best, mate. So, yeah. He's a big body mid. Well, just, big yeah. body mid. And you've got to get them in there. 100%. Yeah. Let's go. Get a look at this, Daisy. This is uh, your captain for the day. Oh. You <laughs> and him. It's, uh, look at that. Yeah. You weirdly kind of look like him. Well, that is an yeah. absolute privilege. That's <laughs> an absolute honor. Just that every day you were just smashing it out, it was crazy. Yeah, it, it felt a bit like that, man. Like, I feel like we'll do a half marathon before half the population was out of bed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, genuinely. <laughs> You've probably woken up feeling bad about yourself. Oh, 100%. 100%. Felt lazy. Yeah, well, mate, on, on a better note, how many goals are you kicking tonight? Five. Five? Yeah, cheeky five. Lazy five in the lazy first five. Oh, that right foot does not, does not feel good at all. It looks good, though, mate. I think, it, I think it's the left foot again today. Yeah, just the left only? Is that her? Oh, we, we went to watch him at nil, and now we're playing with him. Yeah, well, he... Found out who the real balls are, didn't he? You got a big lockdown roll in defence, mate. Do you reckon they put blokes down today? I don't think so. Looking that at big, though. No, I don't reckon. I don't know. We've seen bigger. But yeah, I'm a big man myself. And if I don't use my body today, then next week. I think I will. For the first time, my my career. Give me something. Give me something. No, give me something. no just give me something. A little, just a little chest up. Oh yeah, give me that. Yeah. Oh yeah, yes. Oh yeah, yeah. That's good shit. Yeah, that's good shit. First of all, the uh, the elephant in the room, I guess. Dale Thomas is in here. Yeah. Whiteboard out and draw a game plan up. I'm pretty sure it's just Daisy in the middle and all arrows pointing at him. <laughs> so let's get his prem data looking good. Um, at least 200. We've got a few back as well, so Bakesy comes back from a hammy. Zachy Kanga comes back from a hammy. Yeah! Welcome, hammy. Good, good way to test out those hammies, boys. So, we're putting the 7.30, it's real good. Good, uh, nice and cold out there. I've got the license. Um, I've got the lamb bros here, we're bringing yeah. it back. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we've got Steph and Locke. Uh, if you don't know, they've just finished running across Australia from Perth to Melbourne. Um, raised a shitload of money for cancer as well. How much in the end, boys? 212. Yeah. Yeah. We finished our 10, 10 goal drubbing, and he said, what, what the hell happened? He gave me the rev up, and you went out and lost by 10 goals. So he's coming down to watch the highlights this week. He's going to tell us what we're doing wrong. So, what, what did you notice? Um, 
The one thing I said last week was kick it to space, boys, and you didn't. <laughs> Checkers told me you're all kicking it to straight. <laughs> <laughs> if there's one person we're going to kick it to tonight, it's Dal Thomas. Yeah. Yeah. Get up. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Incredible class. Yeah. Where does this compare to some of the great games you played? No, yeah, you don't want to be disrespectful to any of those games, but you know, grand finals, similar nerves, similar pre-match speech, and really similar game plan. Mm. Mick Moldas is going to be filthy that the guy plans just get it to me. <laughs> um, Daisy, you got any last words for us? No, I just uh, appreciate you boys having me down. Seriously, it's going to be good fun. Um, you know, what I see of you boys is just, yeah, you really enjoy each other's company and we'll do that tonight. We'll have a bit of fun. You know, we'll try and uh, link the field up at times and from there we see where we go. And as they boys said, when in doubt, put it near me, I'll do the rest. So. <laughs> After Jacker's inspirational pre-game speech, we started pretty hot, the lads. Um, checker has got a free kick in the ruck. He goes long to the goal square. And who else? Dale Thomas takes a mark in the goal square. Wheels around on the left and gets the first of the afternoon. And it was a little reminder that the old fella could still get off the ground. I was shocked by the intensity early. I know it was Friday night and I know that Daisy was playing and I know that Oakley would have been up and about. But man, the bodies that were flying in, the crowd, the atmosphere... It made it feel like it was a finals game of footy. It didn't feel like I was playing in a thirds game. Dan brings it out to the, the daisy side, goes long, and Dale Thomas sits on a couple of heads and nearly brings home mark of the year. Um, the ball falls down, spills out the back. The lads go long. Down the line to myself and Willie Taylor, and we're applying some forward heat. They gave me the free kick, and as I was going back off my mark, the guy just threw it to the ground, and... It was one of those ones where it's like I was expecting the umpire to wave me off, but I sort of questioned it. I went, ah, oh, he's just chucked it to the ground. Um, so they gave me 50. And normally in the VAFO, it's only 25, or in the thirds, I feel like it's only 25 metres, but he gave me the full 50. So I ran up to quickly take it before they realised that potentially the umpire made a mistake. As I was lining up, um, I was getting a lot of lip from the Oakley fellas, but I just had to calm my mind, go through Enhanced Footy, who's been helping me with my goal kicking on Instagram, and um, finish it from the top of the goal square. Another ball gets picked up by Sketch, Big Sketcher. He goes long to the top of the goal square, and I'm floating back to try and find it. Um, I tried to protect the drop of the ball as best I could. I take it in the chest, and then as I take it, I get tunnelled, um, which was all fair in the contest, but it was one of, probably one of the better marks I've taken this year. <laughs> so we had a ripping start to the first term, but we had some sad news. Will Taylor, who's been battling a little bit with form, um, got a handball, so he got a, he got a disposal this week, and unfortunately, he's pinged a hammy. So, after what seemed like the perfect first term, uh, there's a little bit of sad news with Will Taylor going off with a hammy ahead of next week's biggest game of Div 12 Resis. I don't know if he can recover in time for it, but that could be a huge loss for the game next week. Let's change that, let's get the ball to ground. How much better do we look at ground level when we got the likes of Dossie, we got Sketter, we got boys at ground level who can take the footy on, apply the pressure, that's what we look at best. As little as possible, they take intercept marks. It doesn't mean you have to try and go for every mark. Sometimes it's a body spoil, get your hand over there, yell and scream in their face when the ball's in the air. Let's get the footy to ground, because as soon as we get it to ground, we look a million times better. Jeez, um, you went all right. <laughs> Jeez, what a raise of pause. Um, that's a good grab. 
Yeah, he sort of tunneled me a little bit, which made it look a little bit better than what I thought it was. That was good time. But um, enhanced football. The, the set shot goal kicking doesn't feel as, as nerve wracking as it did last week. No stutter step, so just get the job done. I actually thought it was Christian Petrarca, to be honest. <laughs> I'll show you Christian Petrarca. <laughs> Well, I kicked the first one in the first two minutes, so I started doing the mass. That was 12 in the first quarter. I was going to have a minute to spare. Uh, <laughs> I'm a bit puffed, though. I reckon, I reckon you've probably got about 15, 20 touches at the moment with the goal. I, uh, Not shabby. And I dropped a car here as well. Got the nice little ride. You got up. Uh, I, lost, I lost it in the rings of satin. Hey, look, look, turn around. This is the biggest we've ever had in our heart or ever, so enjoy this. Okay? <laughs> Maybe it's a chirp. You, fucking, you miss a kick, you miss a tackle. Oh. Oh, well, next one. It's a lot of fun. Friday night footy. How good is it? Second quarter kicks off and they start throwing everything at us. An arm wrestle. There's a bit of a seesawing affair. Defensive goal square and Cam, who is very competitive, very tough in the contest, tried to Wayne Harms it through for a rush behind and he completely missed the footy. So he went this dramatic dive, tried to tap it through to the boundary line and he missed the pill and then they just socketed it off the ground. So slowly but surely, Oakley crushes were clawing their way back into this. They'd kicked two this term and we just kept missing chances. We missed multiple chances. Bakes missed one, Jimmy Greaves missed one. It just felt like we couldn't quite convert. I reckon we would have had four or five points in that quarter. So then on the siren uh, to finish the half, they kicked another one. Another 50 metre penalty, that was two goals from 50 metre penalties. We'd missed multiple chances in that quarter. They had converted, and I think it was back down to, you know, our lead was only a couple of goals going in at the half-time break. Hey, Wilbur, what's happened? You've done a string. Look, I have only gone and done my first ever fucking hamstring. I'm shattered, uh, mate. I'm, I'm filthy. Um, on the wing, I was feeling good. I was amongst it with Dossie, applying pressure. And then I uh, went a hand pass it, just went back and just heard it pop. And yeah, just not not feeling good right now. Uh, pretty flat, but hopefully hopefully the other boys can get it done. Well, look, you've ruined my night. So. Oh. <laughs> I think I've ruined a lot of people's <laughs> nights. I had my whole house on you kicking that stand there, oh, Baker. Yeah, uh, I fucking flushed it. I hit it well. How did you miss? I was on a different angle. Yeah, fucking fade as late. I was like, you prick. And mine usually go left to left. Um, kick, kick three in the first term, had one handball in the second. That's probably the funnest half of footy I've ever been a part of. Like, the atmosphere is so good. Everyone's up and about, playing with the childhood idol. If we had a kick. <laughs> <laughs> First time me and Chicks here playing together. Told it off. No, no. If we um, if we had a kick straight, it'd be game over. If we had a kick straight, it would be over. So we've left the door ajar. So that makes for an exciting. Finish. I just gave away fifty. <laughs> <laughs> nothing, nothing new. <laughs> Dossie took Mark of the Year again. Mm-hmm. Nothing new. <laughs> if we kick straight, it's over. Yeah, if Bakes kick straight, it's over. There you look at it. And I don't use, do I? <laughs> you know you can't win a car plane in this league. You can't. You can't. I think someone of the blokes said he'd steal me one. Um, <laughs> I, uh, I dropped one, but I don't think I can get across the ground, let alone off it at the minute. I'm gonna have to find something in this second half. I was actually pretty impressed. You're still very quick. No, I've still got a bit of bit of pace. Yeah. It's a bit more momentum behind it now, too. I don't stop as quick. So, what's the plan for the second half? Um, we got a kick straight. We had our shots there, we just missed. So, that's fine. We'll, that'll come. And we just got to slow them down a little bit when they get through us. Um, so, we're clearly on top. We'll win by five or six goals. I'll pick four in this quarter and put it to bed. Bang, bang. Yeah, I got a cool tailbone. Fucking land on my tailbone. I can't run, so that makes it hard. That's the only thing I can do on the field as well, so. That does make playing footy pretty hard. Yeah, so appreciate it, but the boys are going to get up, so it'll be alright. So, same there going down. This away, so we're kicking up the line. If they win it back, or so they get it here, and they're going to go to a contest online here, all our numbers are getting stuck in this pocket. So, they kick it, we're all skinny, and then they get it and go straight through the middle. Everyone feel them at a time? Yeah. Yeah. So, if you're all behind this ball, just look at the goals. That's your reference, and just draw a direct line through the middle, and that's your Just look at the goals. That's your reference, and just draw a direct line from where the contest is going to be to the goals and just keep taking that space. Because even if they win it there, all they're going to kick it to is that and we can close them down. 
just simple things, just adjust your positioning, just try and cover that corridor because that's where they're looking to go every time. When we win it back, let's just get on the boot. Yeah. A couple of times we're getting it, we've got two v two or whatever it is, we try and give a little handball. <laughs> but you may as well just get it, push the pressure up the ground to in our area rather than f around with a handball. Just get territory, keep turning them around every time we win it. Kick it long, get the numbers there, and that'll also force them. They won't have the numbers spreading because they'll be turning around going the other way. We come out for the third term, and it's a bit like the second quarter. Oakley are just on the front foot. Um, Checkers picks it up top of the defensive goal square. Gets caught for a very hot holding the ball. They kick another one, and all of a sudden, there's a bit of doubt in your head. I don't know if we've switched off. I don't know if we're just not good enough here. So it feels like we're on the back foot where we're battling a little bit. Oakley have all the ascendancy. It feels like we might let this one slip. Big contest on the wing. The defence are tirelessly trying to get this footy out. Um, they go long and Dale Thomas takes one of the marks of the year for the Div 12 Resis. Lands on his feet turns and goes he's still got a lot of pace the man sprints down the wing and kicks long to Zach Kanga who takes a mark inside 50 he gets pushed in the back after he takes the mark and I love that Trey goes over and just says hey you're not going to get away with that Oakley slot another one and they gain the lead and then that's when I started to stress a little bit I thought we need the next and we need it quickly Checkers said, that's enough. We need a clearance and we need a snag. The ball goes up. He taps it straight down the throat of Recruit of the Year, Ethan Baker. He sprints away from the centre clearance. I was leading back towards the goal square. Um, so he kicked it long and I thought, you beauty, I'm going to get on the end of this and slot it. It just keeps floating. It just keeps flying. I reckon the man on one hamstring has kicked it from 60 metres. And it's gone through half post height. He celebrates to the, the riffraff on the wing who were giving us an earful all game. He goes absolutely bananas. And after slowly but surely getting our lead eaten up in the space of 10 seconds, I think it took 10 seconds for him to kick it, we've got the lead back and it feels like the nerves have settled a little bit. I slotted my fourth for the night. So... All of a sudden, in the space of maybe two minutes of play, we've gone from being down to getting that 10 point lead back. And I think that was about the margin that we had when we went into the three quarter time break. Game on, the swing, swing of momentum. Baker's goal was fucked. How about Daisy's <laughs> <laughs> That's one of the funnest quarter of footy I've ever been a part of. We have to win this though. I said at half time to Daisy, I'm like, you know you can't uh, get a car by taking Mark of the Year in this league and uh, maybe they should give him one for that. That, that was, was unbelievable. Unreal. That was an unreal snagger, Baker. That was unreal. Yeah, was not bad. As soon as I took off, I'm like, yeah, I'm going for this. Because I was running towards that crowd and I was just like, oh. Yeah, you gave the crowd a bit, didn't you? Yeah, well Daisy said, get the, give him a finger. <laughs> Mate, maybe they I was should coming with him. Yeah, you got a little bit scared. <laughs> and I was, <laughs> I was running towards him anyway, so I just give him these ones. Daisy, I think actually you are due a car after What's that. That? that was, was alright. That was unreal. I, but I, we didn't get the finish though. Unselfishly went in the top of the square. That's right, it'll be a good 15 second clip. So you're ready, the ball's not going to come in how you want it. Chaos but ball. you just got to contest it and we'll take it to the contest if you have to. Just, just hold on it. Fuck, they'll pay it, but just let's get that long kick going. There's a couple of times on the wing we're doing five, six handballs. We don't need, we don't need any. We don't need one. Just kick it. Trey did it, picked it up, just kicked it. And he's the worst in the team. All right. Yeah. Happy to say that he knows that, but he just put his head over it, and kicked it, and we need a bit more of that. All right. I tell you what we need though. It's a bit. It's becoming a bit hot. The footy, the crowd's getting involved. That's what you're gonna love. But the thing is, you got to take time over the footy. A bit of extra time, getting your body over it. No fumbles. We pick it up. We're clean. We get it going forward. Get around each other. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. The last quarter starts with Daisy getting it on the wing. He turns around and goes long. And Jared Davis, his contested marking is underrated. He takes an absolute clunk. He's about 35 metres out and literally cannot walk on his ankle and he cannot kick. And I knew that, so I stood behind him and I literally said out loud, can you kick it? And he goes, nah. Once he said no, I made sure I had a bit of separation off my opponent. I sprinted around the back to get the handball and then I just had a ping at goals. But thankfully it went through. Number five for McDonald. 
and the Wattle Park Animals have gotten out to a little three goal gap. After we got the gap, it felt like we wouldn't let this one slip. Um, Checkers, who was awesome in the ruck all day, quick kick out of the ruck, falls in Jarrah's lap. This time he's within distance. I was still thinking about running around the back and giving him a chop out, but um, he went back from about 15 out and just slid it through, which was awesome. Got us back out to four goals, and it felt like we were almost home from there. Baker took a couple of great marks in the last quarter and they just gave him like elbows and knees into the back every time he took a mark. He, he got made to earn it. Um, he takes a mark at half forward or sort of the wing. He kicks long. It falls just short from Jarrah, but it goes just over the head of one of their defenders. I saw Jarrah pick it up and I saw there was no one on me on the boundary, so I screamed for it. Jarrah Davis for the third time today. Um, gives me the ball, and in front of like everyone in the pocket, um, I skidded at home and kicked probably one of the better goals I've ever kicked in my life. I couldn't dribble at home because it was a guy closing out the goal square, and he would have got a hand to it and touched it over the line. So I couldn't just do a little dribbler. I potentially could have, could have attempted a banana, but just on that angle, I felt like the best method was to skid at home. I sort of, it was like skipping a rock off a pond is what I attempted to do. Um, I punched it hard and low. I had it skid off the grass and then thankfully it held its shape. Straight away, I don't know why, but I went the Ackermanis <laughs> and then I felt embarrassed about doing the Acker. So I brought my hands down and did that. And then I felt embarrassed about doing that. So I just celebrated with little Lenny who gave me a, a swig of water. And then Moose came over uh, with some barbecue sausages, which was great. I had a, had a bite of those, gave it back to him. And um, yeah, it was awesome. What are we saying? What are we saying? How did we go? It's funny when Bailey gets touches, Water Park gets wins. It's funny that. Um, would you like to come back to my place and watch the two lace out kicks that I did from uh, full back to the centre square? Because I, I actually did it twice, two times. Go over here, there, brother. Go over here. That was fun. That was a great. I wasn't filming. Apparently, like all the boys have it on their phone. Yeah, two of the kids air dropped me. So, so funny. Air dropped you? Yeah, air dropped me. So I got them on my phone. How was that? Yeah, mate. Right in, and right in front of me too. Cookson, Friday night footy, thirds footy. Can you believe the turnout? <laughs> you did really well, mate. I can't believe the turnout. I'd come and watch you. I'd uh, come and watch was I better than last week? Uh, <laughs> Baker's yeah. off. I think, I don't know, you, you seize the moment. Yeah. The more the people, the more the performance for McDonald. But yeah, you were good last week, you are good this week. Just build into a nice little season. The intro of this vlog, I can predict it already, is Caden goal from the boundary. <laughs> Celebration, Dale Thomas hanger, and then it cuts in. Hey guys, thanks for tuning into the Waddle Pride vlogs. Fucking <laughs> hell. When's, uh, when's Cooker coming out? I don't know, whenever you have me, mate. Next week? Yeah, sounds great. Unleash him? Yeah, unleash him. <laughs> unleash the beast? Unleash the gut. <laughs> how's, the, uh, how's the leg feeling, brother? Oh, horrific. Yeah. That, I tried to kick on it, and as soon as I tried to kick on it, it felt like it just like fell apart. So that wasn't ideal. So I spent the last quarter just 
in the golf square, and luckily people kept kicking it to me. Yeah, he managed to, how many snags end up here? Two, handed one off the dice because yeah. there was no way I could kick 30. Yeah. But anything within 15, I felt alright. I think you did pretty well, considering one leg. But well. how fun was that? Oh, it was awesome. And just imagine next week. That's what I'm thinking about. <laughs> Yeah, on the sherbet. That was just the funnest shit ever. That was one of the best foot, footy experiences of my life. You don't get that, like, I know we're playing the lowest level of football in the BAFA, but the energy that, you know, the Marmalade boys bring, um, it's second to none. It's so much fun. That was the funnest thing I've ever experienced. Um, what a night the footy cooks in, and we do it again next week. All right, guys, that is it for another Wattle Park Animals Dip Top Resi's game day vlog. There will be no Wattle Park Animals vlog this week because we have a bye, but we are all playing in the biggest game of Div 12 Resis, and there'll be plenty of content coming out about that. It'll be Lockley's taking on Elizabeth. Some of your favorite AFL content creators will be playing. The stream will be up on Marmalade's YouTube channel on the Friday night, or if you're in Adelaide, come down to Elizabeth and um, get around the lads. It's going to be an amazing night of, uh, of Resis footy. Once again, thanks to everyone who tuned in. Thanks for all the support and we'll see you soon for some more content. Cheers, guys.